Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss very interesting business use case. And this use case you would have solved sometime in your career. If you have not solved, you will solve it someday. Okay, in one way or other way. If you are into data field, this is going to come. Okay, so watch this video till end. I'm going to discuss multiple scenario, cover everything. And it is really going to help you. So please watch this video till end. Okay, so here's the business case. So let's say we have a ticketing system, right? In any organization, we have a ticketing system and we have a ticket ID, create date and resolve date. So when the ticket was created and it was resolved. Now the thing is we want to see every ticket, how many days it is taking, right? But the problem is we don't want to count the weekend and public holidays, right? Because no one works on weekend and public holidays. So we don't want to count it. It doesn't make much sense. So we want to see how many days are there between these two dates business days right so we will take one by one we will first just consider weekends then we will consider public holidays and then we will merge them okay so let's start so here is my data just i have three those okay so this is first and third i have just put days what are the days so that it is easy to understand this is monday to wednesday okay this is monday to friday next week right and this is monday to tuesday next to next week right so let's see what we can do. So first we have to, what we have to do, we have to find difference of days between these two days. So I can just do date diff. Date diff function, I will say I want in day, right? And this is the start date is create date and resolve date, right? As actual days. This will give me how many days are between these two dates? So this is how date date function works. I have created a separate video on date functions. I will tag it in the end. If you want to see, I will, I have covered all the date functions there. So if you see between one and three, there are two days, right? Between one and 12, there are 11 days, right? And so between one and 16, there are 15 days. Now we have to subtract week, weekends, right? So what I will do, I will try to find difference of weeks in these two dates. So how I will do? I will say, give me date diff, right? Same thing. Okay, let me show you first week. Okay, so I will say date part. I'm just showing you that what is the week number. It will show different week numbers for different date. So I want week number of create date, right? And also week number of resolve date. Just to show you, we don't need it, but I'll just put it so that it makes more sense. Okay, so we have week. So if you see it is from year starting, it will calculate the week. So this date is week number 32 and this date also is week number 32, right? This date is week number 32 and this is week 33. This is 32 and this is week number 34. Okay. So what I will do, I will find difference in weeks between these two dates. So I will just take this as it is. And I will say week, right? Between two and week diff right i will run this now and this will give me number of weeks between these two dates so it is saying that there is no difference they are both the dates are in same week there is week difference of one and this is a week difference of two which means we can use this week difference to find number of weekends so if they are in same week it means no weekend if one then we can subtract two days because in one weekend we will have two days if there are two, then four. So what we can do, we can just find actual days minus two into week difference. So what I'll do, I'll just remove everything now. And I will take this again. This is the difference in days minus two into number of weeks, right? Because in one weekend we have two days. So I have found actual days minus two into week between those two dates as business days, right? We will, we will take account in account public holidays also, but for now, just weekend. Okay. So you see, this is two only because they are in same week. This is nine because there was one weekend and there we had two weekend in between. So we have minus four 11. So this is how we have got business days. Now let's talk about holidays, right? So I have created a, a separate table for holidays. So let's see, select star from holidays. Okay. 
so i have put just two holiday okay so if you see uh, let me run both the tables so if you see we have created resolved it so there is no holiday between these two dates right now again if you see 1 to 12 there is one holiday right rakhi is there and between 1 and 16 there are two holidays right both are coming so we have to do minus 2 here and minus 1 here and nothing will be minus here right so how we do it so let's forget this for now okay what i am going to do i will going to, i am going to join this with holidays so i will say from tickets let join holidays on holiday date now this is important okay holiday date between between create date and resolve date so i am saying join this holiday date between where the holiday date is between create date and resolve date right so what i will do for that for that i have joined on this so if you look at the first record right 11th of august so 11th of august will not join here because 11th of august is not between these two dates now 11th of august will go here so each record will try to join with other record and it will join here right and again 11th of august will not join here because the 11th of august should be between create date and resolve date so it will join only with this record now if we look at the 15 no it will sorry it, it it will join with the both the records right so 11th of august is between this and this also and 11th of august is between this and this so it will join with the both the both the rows now 15 will join only with the this row sorry i got confused okay so i hope this is clear and let me run this now so if i run this now so if you see i have done left join right so if you see create date resolve date there is no holiday so it is coming null null now for the ticket id 2 ticket id 2 we have only rakhi right so rakhi is on 11th august which is between create date and resolve date now for the ticket id 3 we have both the have festivals between these two dates so we have two rows now because this also got joined with this row and this also got joined so we have two rows now right so what i have to do now what i'll do simply select star comma so what i need i need ticket id comma create date comma resolve date right comma count of holiday date since it is null so null is not counted when i say count holiday date okay as number of holidays right So what I'm going to do now, I will just do group by on these three columns. Group by this, right? And let's see what I will get. So I got that for ticket ID there was no public holiday in between. For ticket ID two there was one holiday, and for ticket ID three there was two holidays, right? Also, what I'll do, I'll give you an assignment now. After solving this question, so uh, try to solve and comment your answer. Okay. So what I will do now, I have got number of holidays, right? So I will use this as sub query and use number of holidays. So I will say select star from this sub query, right? And what I need, I need this business days, right? So I will just copy this as it is. Okay. Now, once I get this, I have to subtract number of holidays also, right? So this, this, this I just subtracted weekend, right? What I have to do minus number of holidays. If I do that, I have subtracted weekends and number of holidays also. If you see, if you see, now we have two business days because there was no holiday, no weekend, right? Here, if you see, there were. Okay, let's see the actual difference. Then we can make more sense out of it. Okay, so actual days are eleven minus one weekend minus one holiday. So we have eight business days. Here fifteen 
they are two weekends four days minus two holidays so we have now nine days so this is how we handled both the scenario we handled weekend also and public holiday also okay now i have an assignment for all of you what happens when a public holiday so your holiday table will contain everything right what if a public holiday is is on weekend right what will happen will this query work right what do you have to do you have to put a holiday in this table on weekend right and try to run this query and see how you can handle it and comment your answer right so what, otherwise there might be some problem if we don't handle it so try it yourself let me know and share this video like this video because this this will be used this will be somewhere you will use this because sometimes it is not just ticketing system right sometimes let's say you are ordering something from vendor amazon orders some racks right for vendors and it takes some days to come he want amazon wants to see how many days are there right and we want to calculate only business days so in those all those scenarios this will come right so i hope you like it let me know if you have any doubts thanks for watching it have a good day